describing my little single leg, it's kind of hard to, to explain. I mean, most of the people that are involved in wrestling knows what a little single leg is. I spent probably eight solid months trying to work on this, and over the years it evolved into much more. I would rather explain how motivated I was when I was feeling success with it. You know, I, you know, the best way I can explain this was I was like a scientist going into his lab, and he was on the, the verge of curing cancer. And how exciting that experience is for that scientist to go in every day and knowing how close he is to have a cure of killing the world of cancer. And hopefully one day we'll have that. And I'm sure there's scientists out there on that verge of doing that. You know how motivating that is to go in every day? How close you are? Well, for me, the low single leg was, I, I knew I was on the verge of something very special. And I was so hungry, so motivated, I couldn't be in the wrestling room enough. I lost sight of days, I lost sight of time. Um, uh, I could be in that room for four hours with three different partners coming in, just working things, figuring out things, developing things. I was that scientist. I was that person in that room that, that was on the verge of doing something special. But it was, for me, it was about becoming the best wrestler in the world. I knew I was on the verge of doing it. So you can only imagine how motivating at the time it was for me, realizing how close I am to being the best wrestler in the world. And uh, it was a great experience. It was a great journey. That was I can't, I can't tell you the feeling that you have outweighs any gold medal that you won. Just to be in that environment for a period of time um, is an unbelievable feeling. Nice. I had hit it a couple times in high school and I used it a couple times and fell into it in, in college. And I had a gut feeling that with my speed of being able to penetrate quickly that this will work for me. And when you go into the room and you work on something, you work on something, and that one partner that you struggle to take down, and all of a sudden you're taking him down three and four times in a match with the same move. You're on the verge of creating something. You're on the verge of developing something. And that's what gives you that sense of motivation is when you get to try it in, in competition, whether it be in the practice room. For me, it was in the practice room. I can remember a particular wrestler that I always struggled to take down, and I'm taking him down now three and four times a match with the same move, and he knows it's coming. Um, very motivating. The first few years with the low single leg was purely out of speed and purely out of uh, reaction, meaning that I just reacted at the right time. I had drilled it enough, I know when the guy's stepping, never thought about it, or I know and that he's reacting to something I do. Um, as the years progressed, I really developed a few setups, not necessarily from contact, but from outside. That continue to improve my ability to get to the leg. Um, the single leg is just a small part of it. It's the finishes that I really mastered and it really made a difference because when I shot a low single leg, if I got to the leg, I finished. I can't remember too many times I didn't finish. And collegiately it was different than freestyle because freestyle, it may be a finish for three points when I was competing, taking your opponent from his feet to his back. Collegiately, it was all about securing the takedown.
through scrambles sometimes. So there was a lot of evolution that went along with it, and um, it wasn't something that just lasted those eight months I was talking about. That was more of that I found something, uh, that I found a great technique that I'm going to utilize. Through three, four years, a lot of the finishes evolved. The reason that some of the finishes can seem complicated and such is because they, they hadn't been seen then. Take college wrestling today. They're in those same scrambles I was working on 15 years ago on developing some, and over hours working on finishes from when an opponent does this, when an opponent does that. You see that every day, you know, the majority of those finishes today, the majority of those finishes I developed or working on um, 15 years ago are still some of the most important finishes that you can have today, especially in college wrestling. Um, and, and there's been a lot of kids that have even added to the low single way. A lot of people have taken it even a little bit further. So. Is this kind of the start of something that, um, you know, that many wrestlers today are utilizing and becoming very sex successful? In 2004, I watched three Olympic champions win the World Singles. In 1988 92, there was only one person who won the World Singles. So it's been fun watching them evolve, and evolve into even a better skill, better ways of finishing. The ways I finished when I started, I think there's better ways today to finish the slow single leg when uh, your opponent reacts certain ways.